How's it going, everybody? My name is Orange Peanut, and oh boy, do I have a great video for you today. I was just, I was chilling in bed, you know, thinking about food, and I was like, hey, this is a great idea. Watching WNBA dunks until I'm impressed. I have no idea. This video could either go a minute, or this could be another hour long, like the Amy Schumer one. This should be absolutely excellent. So, now just a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, you're gonna hear a lot of ignorance in this video from me. Just know that most of it is from, um, most of it's for entertainment purposes. So don't be thinking I'm a sexist or anything. I don't make fun of women because I think they're inferior to men. I make fun of women because it's funny. So yeah, that's basically it, no hate intended. But a lot of people have been saying WNBA players should be paid as much as NBA players. So we're gonna go, we're gonna give it a fair shot and see if, um, see if that's true. So I think the first thing I'm gonna be looking at is dunks because, you know, one of the things that makes basketball so entertaining, a lot of you guys know I'm a big NBA fan. The reason I like basketball so much is dunks. You can see, like, jumping up, got your nuts in another guy's face. <clears throat> you know, actually, let me demonstrate right here. Like, all I have is a tennis ball real quick, but... I missed, but the point still stands. The Monster Jam by Orange Peanut. I love dunks. They're fun. We're going to hop into this uh, top five WNBA dunks in history. So hopefully these should be some, if it's the best in WNBA history, it should be some excellent, um, excellent dunks. Copyrighted music. Got to turn this down. Sorry. Going to have minimal, uh, minimal sound on this because we're trying to get our ads in, you know? Oh, she's taking it down the court. Windmill. That wasn't a windmill. Ooh, ooh, the one-handed down the lane dunk that Steph Curry could do. Isaiah Thomas could do that. All right, what do we got here? Oh! I'm not impressed, by the way. That's just for jokes. She, she jumped and she dunked it. So, never seen that before in NBA history. Wow. So, as you can see, the very important slow motion here, the pass, and then the jump upwards to put the ball inside the hoop. Um, not exactly what I'm looking for as far as impressiveness goes. Okay, so she got the fast break and just a regular dunk. Very, um, very stupendous. I'm looking for a poster here. I'd be impressed if I saw like a boom MJ, you know what I mean? But it's not quite what I'm seeing here. All right, what do we got? Number two, a fast break. Not a fast break, a slow break, and just a normal dunk. Very, very not impressive. I could make that dunk, honestly. If I was like six foot tall, I could be doing those type of dunks. I'm, I'm 5'11", if you guys didn't know. I'll be doing a dunk reveal soon if I ever turn six foot. Okay, number one. This has got to be good. She's running down the court. And a rim grazer. So that's the number one dunk of all time. So it, 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 it's pretty clear to me that dunks are not going to be the thing that's going to impress me, essentially. Um, so maybe I'm just I'm going to see if I could find top five plays because that should probably be better. Uh, 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 you know, where is it? Uh, okay, top 10 plays of the decade here. This is by the WNBA official channel, so shouldn't be a joke video. I don't want to watch any joke videos here. I'm just going to like, yeah, top 10 plays of the decade. So that's like, decade's like 120 years, so probably the history of the WNBA, if we're being honest. So it's only a three-minute video, but hopefully I'm seeing some sort of maybe crossovers, half-court threes, game winner, bang, you know what I mean? Like some of that. Let's see. She's running down the court, and a layup. You know, maybe I'd be more impressed, but that's like my specialty layup package. Like, the reverse layups under the rim, that's kind of what I do, so I don't really find that very impressive. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe some sort of impressive game-winning shot over three people. I mean, like, it's not bad, but... I mean, that shot's been made thousands of times by the likes of me and other like Jordan and LeBron. Okay, kind of more of a fall than a crossover, but I mean, the WNBA stands for Women's National Falling Association. More of like an insult to the lady that fell, honestly. Okay, I mean, I'm not impressed because I could probably make that pass, but 
It's better, but I'm not impressed. Okay, you know what I mean? So, now she's going in, and she threw it over her head. Like, I know we're saying that's impressive, but she, she looked before. It wasn't like it was a no look she kind of predicted. She was looking at it, and it was kind of just like, like that. And I assume this is going to be a game winner right here. I mean, it's cool that she hit the game winner, but there was no one defending her. Like, it wasn't even a contested shot. I mean, I could make a floater like that easily. What do you guys think I would do if I was in the WNBA? I feel like that'd be really impre really interesting to see. Okay, so we got a steal here and a shot. Um, Like, it would have been more impressive of a shot if she kind of like, like, I feel like she just heaved it up there. It wasn't really something she practiced, you know, as luck right there, honestly. Like, if I made that shot, it wouldn't be luck because, you know, it's something I practice on the daily. But I don't know. Mambi? Her name is Hampy? Okay. A shot and a foul. Okay. Um, Kind of a weak foul call. She, she was straight up. That's not a foul. That's a jump shot with a whistle. Nah. No foul. In the 90s, that's not getting a foul call. Alright, what's happening here? Game winner? To more wide open shot. You see, I'm not going to call this impressive if it's uncontested. Because, like, even I could make an uncontested three to win the game. Like, you know, you remember the Tracy McGrady thing? Where he had, like, two people with arms at the ball? That was impressive. I'm, I'm not very easily impressed, if you guys can see. So there was a shot right there. Um, very shoddy. This is the number one play of all time, so this better be very nice. So what I'm seeing here is a fallaway shot. It missed, and a rebound. I'm gonna pause this video right here. You're calling that the number one play of all time? So not only, not only, there was a missed game winner. She got the rebound. She missed again, and then got that rebound, and then did a semi-open jump shot as the greatest play of all time. Was that like playoffs or something? I guess it was, but that's really not gonna do it for me. I'm gonna be honest here. Um, yeah, I'm going to need more than that. How about just WNBA highlights? Okay. Top 10. Oh, we already got that. Top 10. Mm, that's the same place. Uh, there's like no highlight videos. Um, WNBA all-star game full highlights. Here we go. I'm going to keep this volume down as well. You're just going to be serenaded by my voice and nothing else because or uh, NBA copyright's a toughie, a tough issue. I don't even know if WNBA copyright's now, so maybe we're fine. But playing on the safe side, you know. Okay, this is a 15-minute video of the All-Star Game highlights, so this should uh, supply us with what we're looking for, maybe. Um, experimental rules. Oh, this is the one. Shot clock shorten reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's NBA stuff. That's a man. That is a man that sh showed up as a woman to get extra stats. That's a very interesting voice, and I'm not going to go any further because I don't want to get sued or canceled or all that. Anyone else notice that it's the All-Star game and the stadium isn't even full? That's a man right there. I'm sorry. Like, that was kind of a joke, the first one, but that 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 dude in the dreads, that's not a woman. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see these highlights. We got a woman brings it up, passes it up to the woman, and the woman lays it down. Um, and a three-point shot, wide open. My type of shot, honestly. I like those top of the keys. Um... a wide open layup how's that a highlight okay dribbles down the court and another wide open layup very exciting gameplay a three-pointer okay that one wasn't terrible and nice and then a wide open jump shot cool 
All right, now we got another wide open jump shot and it falls. This is a really interesting uh, highlight game. And a lazy pass in the steal, pass down the court, and a wide open layup. And okay, there's the homie there. Um, down for a wide open reverse layup, nice, nice. Didn't even jump, I think. Yeah, that was kind of just a there. And then, wow, steps right across and misses the layup. And turns around and barely makes a layup. Nice, nice. Contested three air ball. <laughs> Why are they putting all this in the highlight game? Steps in for a dunk. Wow. It's crazy. Very, I would have intercepted that pass. See, it would have been impressive if I would have gotten that. And the missed three. And gets it. And the completely unguarded three. It goes in. To no surprise there. Nice, decent pass, and another dunk. Wow, whoever that person is with the standstill unguarded dunk is really killing it right there. Wide open three. Yes, 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 yes. And the almost turnover into the wide open layup. A lot of these wide open layups, that must be like a key play in the WNBA. Um, wide open floater. Nice, nice, nice. And dribbling in with a fadeaway. That's my type of fadeaway, honestly. But okay, driving in and another wide open layup. A lot of defense play. It is the it is the All Star game. There's not a lot of defense played there. Wide open three. Uh, dribbles it in. I assume passes to the completely airballed layup. Rebounded for the wide open layup. The three. Oh, Kobe. That made me sad. Um, the pass. The open layup. It's in. The wide open jump shot. It's good. How are we only in the first quarter still? And the pass. Drives in for the open layup. It barely goes in. Now we got the pass over to so-and-so. The wide open three. It's good. Okay. Got a little side screen going on. Wide open three. It's good. Um, we got in. Passes out. Another wide open three. It's good. Another wide open layup. Good, 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 good. We got the wide open three. Misses. Rebounded. Wide open layup. Another wide open layup. I feel like in the wide open layup league, I could probably contest. Because I'd be hitting my wide open layups, I'm not even going to lie. <clears throat> that was semi-contested. All right, that's new. We got wide open layup. Pass was okay. Um, there's a semi-contested three. That goes in. That's the best play of the game so far. I'm not impressed. I'm just saying. Oh, the contest on that layup was immaculate. Now we got Wheeler in. Pull up three-pointer. Okay. Good, 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 good. Now we got... Driving in, pass. She had the wide open layup, but she decided to give it to someone else for the wide open layup. That was a tough shot, but she missed. See, if that went in, the video would have ended, but she missed. Rebound, wide open layup, nice. Pass down the floor, wide open three. And it's good. Wow, we're not even halfway through. This is going to be a high scoring game. I do like that. Wide open layup. I mean, it's a wonder why it's so high scoring. There's just layups. And the third dunk of the game and slaps the butt four times. Best part. Oh, add, 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 add. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to watch one more. I'm going to watch another one. Maybe, you know what? You know what might impress me? Passes. 
Um, because passes can be nice. WNBA best passes. Because man or woman, you should be able to. Super WNBA all time assist leader, career passing left. Actually, no, I'm going to do best of assists of the 2020 season because I want to get everybody involved, you know? A smooth 2,000 views on this. Okay, pass to the wide open layup. We like that. All right, pass. I can make that pass probably. And then a pass in, kind of lasered. Not a super difficult pass, but it was on the money, so I'll give her that. Going down the court. Across the court. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. It's kind of like, I could probably do that. You just kind of Joakim Noah shot type for the pass. Nice, nice, nice. Pass into the wide open layup. Okay. Kind of just looped it over the defenders. I'm with it. Okay. Coming down the court. Pass over everyone. Nice. I mean, it's in. I'm looking for like a behind the back through the defenders. Like, you guys remember when LeBron was against the Sixers and he did like a behind his legs under someone else's legs? That was, that's the type of stuff I'm looking for right here. I'm not getting it, but. Okay. It's easy to make those no look passes though. Like, I do those in 5v5s all the time. You just kind of know where your pass go and then you look away. Not too difficult. All right, there's a pass. I mean, that was, that was a hot, that was risky. You just lucky your teammate caught it. What was the pass? Okay, there's a three. Shoot that three. Wait, how is that a passing highlight? Okay, that's a decent pass. She used every ounce of energy to make that pass right there. I respect it. Throws it. Nice, nice. I feel like this has been more than... T oh, it's not a top 10. It's just a best video. Okay. Kind of just yoinked it right there. That wasn't no look. She looked and then she looked away after she threw it. Oh, that was nice. Okay. We did it. We made it. Look at that. Oh, okay. It is about damn time, as someone might say. I need to see that again. Pass it in. Oh, the no look. The okay. So, as it turns out, it only takes 18 minutes to find a WNBA highlight that's impressive. It was that nice little touch pass, you know. I could probably make that, but nonetheless, it is still impressive. So that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Again, um, disclaimer: I don't think women are inferior to men. I just think the WNBA is a lot less entertaining because you, because there's less dunks, less like crazy plays like that. And to all you WNBA executives who probably hate my guts right now, just listen to me. Listen to me for like ten seconds. If you want to make the league more entertaining, get more views get more revenue to pay your players more, which is what we all want. <clears throat> Lower the rims to nine feet because then you're going to have like ladies dunking all over each other. It's going to be just much more enjoyable for the fans, much more enjoyable for me. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely a way you could um, increase your revenue and all that. But yeah, it's going to do it for this video. Um, I, I really did not know how long this was going to take me. Uh, it was shorter than the Amor Schumer one and the uh, female comedians one so that's good that's always love to see that um give me some more watching mm, until i mm, recommendations because these videos are always fun it's got a good title and all that i'm song rubis cube for no reason right here um but yeah that's gonna do it for this video i hope you all valoriantly enjoyed um if you didn't that's fine if you want to leave a hate comment that's i always welcome those because they're always just a nice addition to my day um but anyway, yeah, it's going to wrap it up. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. I missed. Goodbye. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe Because he needs more money